post it all the time Broke on the queen Stacy, Stacy Broke on the queen Stacy, Stacy Welcome back to my channel and if you haven't been here before don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below in this video I will be taking you to high beauty aesthetics for two sessions of laser Brazilian laser at that yes I'm getting my kitty lasered I've been waiting for this for so long so I'm gonna get right into the video all right y'all we about to get started I got my little glasses on hi guys so today we're gonna be doing laser Something that we do recommend before you get your laser done is for you to shave 24 to 48 hours before. Make sure there's no tanning in the area, no self-tanner. Make sure you haven't really gotten any sun in the area for whatever areas. Make sure you haven't like nared or waxed just because you're really trying to get into the hair follicle and really just like zap it out so there's no more hair. We're gonna get started and I hope she likes the results. Yeah. Is it like a tat, Loki? Um, it's like cold air blasting you. Ah. Okay. One, two, three. How is that? I don't feel shit. Good. Ooh, I can't feel that. Yeah, once it hits your little hair follicles, you start feeling it. She got me sweating. <laughs> So I finished it was fast it literally took less than 10 minutes and it didn't really like hurt it was just like certain areas you could feel the zap a little bit more other than that it was quick and if you get tattoos like me you should be fine getting laser I definitely recommend laser just because personally I grow thick hair like I'm Hispanic my hair's thick and I just don't have time for it this was my first session I'm definitely coming back at least seven eight more times <laughs> I need my hair to stop growing completely Okay, okay. No exercising so the sweat won't get there. No exposing the area to the sun before or after. And That's then it. how long do I have to wait to come back for my second session? Uh, we do recommend four. Just, four weeks? Yes, just so okay. we can lay, like the hair follicle kind of come back. Okay. So we can just zap it again and it won't come back. Most likely the hair will grow back before the fourth session. So if you just want to shave it up and clean it up, It'll be perfect. I have to shave before my next appointment. Yes. So you sure. can shave in between time. It's not like waxing where you have to let it grow out. You can just shave it whenever you Oh, okay. Like. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you. You would like to not shave during the four weeks just so you can kind of let the the hair that is growing. Sometimes that hair does fall off and a thinner one comes back. Oh. So that's why we try for you to kind of not shave during the four weeks and okay. shave before. But if you really feel the need to shave because you're going somewhere, that's perfectly fine. I'm sorry if my light is bad, but I totally, totally forgot that I had a laser appointment today and I wanted to add this to my other laser appointment. I just left from getting my lips. Well, y'all gonna have to go look at that video, but right now my lips are a little bit plump. My top lip is very plump. I ended up putting some lipstick on top just so it don't look too crazy. I just got dissolver in my lips so I can go in next week and get new lip injections. That's why my lips are a little bit swollen right now, but I'm on my way to get my laser and this is my second session which i'm super excited about i'm gonna let you guys know how everything goes and i'm gonna add this to my other session i wanted to post a video after two sessions just to give you guys full results of a first session and not just kind of give you my opinion on how it went i finally made it we're about to go inside and get shit popping I'm about to get started. I'm just gonna take my pants off and lay my ass on this bed and get this done for. I actually didn't put any numbing cream this time, like a dumbass. But I'm gonna keep the camera right there so y'all can see kind of. Until she comes in to do my laser, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my first laser. It didn't hurt. It really wasn't pain. It was just like a little zap, little zap, little zap. Come in. I was just talking to the camera. It's okay. For my first session, I really was surprised on how my hair grew back. I thought it was going to grow back 
way more and I barely had any hair growth. It doesn't getting laser like kind of lighten the area up also because yes. you know how I'm shaving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I definitely peeped that my area was a little bit lighter oh, in that's my really opinion. Good. Yeah. Um, and then for like ingrown hairs, I'm very prone to ingrown hairs when I was getting waxed and shaving and I got no ingrown hairs. That's really ever. good. So I'm like, yes, yes. laser definitely for me. Okay. okay. If you need a break or anything, we can most definitely do uh, that for you. Question. So my cousin does laser on her legs and stuff. They say yeah. that it's a different setting every time. Yeah. So is it a higher setting now? Um. Yeah. Usually what we do is if you have like coarse hair, then mm -hmm. we'll put it for coarse. If you feel like your hair is a little more medium, okay. then we'll put it for medium. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Okay. I grew mm -hmm. a lot of hair right here. Oh, okay. So yeah. I feel like we just missed that little part. Yeah, so we maybe can do like that for you. out to like. Right, right here there. it grows, yeah, it grows. Yeah, I can do that for you. Just this little area. Okay. So that's good that it lightened up for you. Do, do you see the difference? I mean, yeah. Maybe you don't remember. You see no, a lot of it. Yeah, I do. Oh. Not that it was like very dark. Oh. But it did lighten up, yeah. Okay, yeah, it definitely hurts more this time. Do you want like a stress ball? Yeah, can I just go? Yeah, for sure. There you, go. You, you have two of them? Yeah, I <laughs> can I squeeze two? It was like, it doesn't hurt. It's just like really a set. It's like, oh, oh. Yeah, like a rubber band. Yeah, literally, mm -hmm. just like a rubber band. Yeah, so because you shaved, um, today your pores are, are a little bit more open so you will feel like a tiny bit more pain. I'm gonna I'm sweating. It's okay though. I can take it. And the underarms are very pain like they're probably the most painful areas right um there's some clients that they really can't take it yeah but like i said it's 100 percent okay to take breaks just because yeah not everybody's pain tolerance is really high very much sweating don't know why, don't know how, but I might have to redo my whole makeup. I might have lied, y'all. It hurt a little bit. This time it hurt a little bit because they amped up the laser setting because this is my second time. Close your eyes and call it a day for, you know, eight, nine minutes. I definitely recommend putting on some, what is it called? Some numbing cream. Last time I came, it didn't hurt as bad. I had some numbing cream on there. This time, I came straight out of my other appointment. I didn't have time to put any numbing cream down there. So I definitely felt everything. But I'm telling you, it's very tolerable. It's fast and 100% worth it. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. Yo, I'm literally sweating under this. I finally made it back to the crib. I had to fix my hair, fix my makeup because I was looking at absolute disaster, a whole mess. Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on the place that I went to. If you do live in Houston and you are thinking about going to High Beauty Aesthetics, I highly recommend to go this month, the month of November, because they are doing a 50% off all laser, which means if you decide to go in and get the Brazilian like I did, the original price is $134, but you would be paying half of that this month. And they also have a package deal which is six sessions you just pay them all up front for 723 think about it if you pay that 723 this month it will be half of that for the six sessions now next month if you want to get the six sessions it's going to go back to 723 so all my ladies that are still shaving you need to put up the towel for real and for my ladies that are waxing i'm not saying that waxing is bad personally i still was you know having situations my biggest thing was like having like little ingrown hairs here and there with waxing so if you're waxing, I'm telling you, hang the towel up too because you're going to save more money doing laser. You're literally paying to get waxed every month. You have to continue to go every month. Your hair is never going to stop growing. With laser, you pay a little bit more every month, 
but after six or seven sessions you most likely don't have to go back in you feel me your hair stops growing the sessions definitely depend on your hair growth so my hair growth might be different than yours i might need less sessions or i might need more sessions it just depends on you but like i said if you guys want to go to high beauty aesthetics so this month 50 percent off all lasers i definitely just want my hair to completely stop growing i need it to be baby smooth down there all the time mommy need to be ready all the time okay that's all I'm saying. If you guys have any questions for me, just ask me down below. I'm very open. We all women. You know what I mean? We're all women. This is life. <laughs> First of all, thank God that my lip swelling went down because I was looking crazy. Now they back to normal. I can't wait till next week. Just know if you guys aren't subscribed to me, subscribe to me right now. Right now. Because next week, hopefully next week, I'll be dropping my lip filler video with my old video. I'm just going to combine everything so you guys can see the whole process of me getting new lip fillers because I wasn't too happy with my old ones. So make sure you guys tune into that. That's all I have for you guys for this video. If you guys don't follow all my other social medias, I will link them all down below as well. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time in my next video.